Well, pressure is mounting on Thailand to release detained footballer Hakim Al Arabi, who's facing extradition to Bahrain. FIFA and Australia's foreign minister are again calling for his immediate return to Australia, where he has refugee status. Hakim Al Arabi is, is a professional player at a club in Melbourne, but was arrested on holiday in Bangkok in November. He faces being sent back to Bahrain, where human rights groups say he's likely to be tortured or even killed. In a statement, football's governing body, FIFA, said FIFA is therefore calling on all the relevant authorities in Bahrain, Thailand, and Australia to take the necessary steps to ensure that Mr. Hakim Al Arabi is allowed to return safely to Australia, where he can resume his career as a professional footballer. Now, Australia's foreign minister has been meeting with officials over Hakim Al Arabi's case in Bangkok. Our correspondent, Wayne Hay, was there. Australia's Foreign Minister Maurice Payne raised her government's concerns about this case during a visit to the Thai capital Bangkok on Thursday, uh, saying that the Thai government is well aware of the importance of this matter to Australia. Hakim Ala Raibi is a permanent resident of Australia with refugee status that was granted because he fears for his safety if he goes back to Bahrain because of a 10-year jail sentence that he was given in 2014. An extradition request has been made by Bahrain and it's now before the courts in Thailand and that's raising additional concerns because Thailand doesn't recognize the rights of refugees. Uh, Maurice Payne going on to say that Australia is concerned about his detention and the possibility of him being sent to Bahrain. There's also been a lot of criticism of football's world governing body FIFA there for their apparent inaction over this case. But FIFA now calling for Thailand to release Hakim Al Araibi and allow him to return to Australia where he has been living for the past four years. Also, there has been criticism of Australia's uh, football governing body and the Asian Football Confederation, the governing body for football in this region, which happens to be run by a member of the Bahrain royal family, Sheikh Salman Al Khalifa, a man that Al Araibi has personally criticised in recent years. But it's under Understood that those two governing bodies have now met to discuss the case. Now, folks are online are using hashtag Save Hakim to draw attention to his case. The conversation is most popular, as you can imagine, in Australia, Thailand, and the UK, with about 6,000 tweets used today. Now, earlier, there was another protest outside the Opera House in Sydney demanding Hakim's release. Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International were among the groups present. Several footballers are also coming out to support Hakim. Many have posted videos on Twitter. Others attended the rally, like former Australian football captain Craig Foster. Sheikh Salman is obligated to support Hakim. He is ob obligated to do everything in his power to advocate both privately and publicly and to use the immense leverage that football has with the Bahrain government, his own government, is a Bahraini national, also with the Thai government to release Hakim. As yet, the silence of the Asian Football Confederation is not just confounding, it's absolutely disgraceful under our human rights obligations within the entire football community. Incidentally, Bahrain are actually playing Thailand at the Asian Cup later in the UAE on Thursday. Groups like Amnesty International say the fact Hakim could be sent back to Bahrain is abhorrent.